from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. A stunning conclusion to the murders of these two women near the San Marco Railroad crossing last month. Police reveal who killed them and explain there's no way to arrest him because detectives discovered that he took his own life the next day. 28-year-old Paige Pringle and 53-year-old Tara Baker were both stopped at the crossing when a gunman fired a number of bullets, killing them both. It was a murder mystery that haunted the community until today. Now, detectives say they've proven their killer was this man, 22-year-old Ty Christopher Head. News for Jack's reporter Vic Migalucci tells us police are still investigating, trying to find out why he did it. These two women were just waiting for a train to pass here in San Marco. It was dark, and that's when police say someone came up and murdered them. It was a horrifying mystery here for the community. Since then, we have seen this memorial grow. There are flowers, mementos, and this question on the fence. Who killed Paige Pringle? She's one of the women killed the other, Tara Baker. And today, detectives say they have at least some sort of an answer for their families. I will say up front that we do not definitively know why these murders happen. JSO's chief of investigations, Alan Parker, says the case is now cleared about a month later. Now that detectives have identified the shooter, 22-year-old Ty Head, a man who is now dead. When Head took his own life, he blocked the only avenue for investigators to conclusively answer this question. Police are still piecing together this puzzle, but here's what we know right now. Head was from Ocala. He was a student athlete there. That's where his family lives. He later went to a halfway house in Jacksonville Beach for addiction issues. The double murder was August 9th in San Marco. That's near downtown Jacksonville. And a day later, authorities near Nashville, Tennessee, found him dead of a gunshot wound. Using a national bullet tracing database called NIBIN, ATF agents helped link the bullet casings at the scene of the double murder with the gun that Head owned, the same weapon he used to kill himself. The FBI was also involved. Today, authorities cannot confirm a connection with his two victims, women who were both stopped by the train and heading home. Also part of the evidence to help solve the case is surveillance video. There was a car following her car very closely. Stephanie Vasquez, a manager at Fifi's Fine Resale, gave this surveillance video to detectives. My deepest condolences go out to the family that you don't want ever want to hear something like that happening. Well, our hearts are with you and your family. Pringle's family was at the news conference today. They're requesting privacy during this difficult time. Baker's fiance tells us he's devastated. You may remember the Jacksonville Police Union put up $10,000 toward a Crime Stoppers reward for information leading to an arrest in this case. Now that it's closed, the president of the police union told me that that money's going to go back to the foundation and he plans to use it whenever it's needed for a future unsolved murder. In San Marco, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.